the f bro, is he f***ing burning shit? What? Yo, Jess. What the f*** are you doing? What's he doing in here? Yo, Jess. Hey, everybody, it's The Shape. Back to a banger, okay? Uh, first of all, have a safe and happy Halloween. This is one of a double upload today, and that's always good. More content. Hey, the Halloween special. My favorite time of year. Uh, so by the time this video comes out, the other one should be uploaded as well. The animate animation video that is uh, really good, considering I did the animation myself. A very, very scary story. Anywho, this video is on Jasco, so you know it's going to be a banger. Uh, let's get into it. Now, in this video, uh, Jasco and his buddies confront a demon face to face. In fact, it says that in the title of their video. And it says banned video. My question right out of the gate would be, well, how are, how are we seeing it on YouTube if the video's banned? Now, what these guys do, and I've thought this for the last couple of years, I've even mentioned it in past videos, is they go to Airbnbs and they say they're haunted. Mind C does it with Side-Eyed Guy, a debunker who will be linked below. He did a really good video on Mind Seed TV about this exact thing. And what it is, they go to any Airbnb and they make up a fake story. They won't even tell you the location. They'll just say, well, it's here when it's not there. Like, oh, we're in Kentucky, when really it's in Virginia, the place they're at. The reason they do that, it's not, you know, so they don't dox the Airbnb. I mean, promotion's always good. It's, they don't want people researching the location. You see what I'm saying? Why go to a haunted place where you have to be on a waiting list? If you look at it from a business sense, you'll be on a waiting list. You know, you gotta book it to get to these haunted locations. If you're gonna fake your paranormal, just go to any location because it's gonna be haunted because you're there. You see, you see how that works? So business sense, it's smart, but when people call you out for it, there's problems because a lot of these people that own these Airbnbs, some don't, but a lot of them, they don't want people faking paranormal at their place and rightfully so. One big YouTuber, honestly, could destroy an Airbnb. Somebody say it's haunted, well I'm not going. You see how that works? All right guys, the video that you're about to watch is footage from one of the crazier nights that I have ever experienced while investigating. Now, we were invited to come investigate this cabin that's deep in the woods, very secluded. It was once abandoned. Only the cabin itself, but there was a chapel behind it. We were called up on the presence that maybe we can determine what is going on on this property. and. In I'm only saying Jasco allegedly goes to Airbnbs and says they're haunted. Only allegedly. But he said that the homeowner of the Airbnb sought him out because of his expertise. Now, I have a little bit of a problem with that because I've, I've never seen a video that Jasco has made where he didn't run or He, he never solved anything, ever. Not one time in any video he's ever done. He, he, he never got to the bottom of the mystery or anything. So I think this is, you know, just a cover story because that's all he's good at. He, the homeowner, I, I would bet $100 to a piccolo sandwich that the homeowner he doesn't know that Jasco's filming a haunted video there, period. And you never hear from the home homeowner, so there's that. And in the process, I was very, very badly affected by whatever was 
conjured or summoned up there. I don't know. <laughs> Spoiler alert. By him being affected like he said, all that means is at the end of his video, he stands in a room with a candle lit in a semi, uh, what's the word, catatonic state, I guess, like something made him go out there and do all that. You've probably seen a clip at the beginning of the video. You know, crap. You hear that? <laughs> you guys ready? Yeah. So here's the thing. The main reason we are here is because of the story that is attached to the church. Crazy stuff happened on this property. You're looking at this place right now and you're thinking to yourself, this place is beautiful. And however, it wasn't this nice before. See, what Jasko here is trying to say is, this place, take a look at it. You know, it, it, it ain't spooky looking, but don't let that fool you. Don't let this Airbnb fool you, guys. Lots happened here. Will I, will I provide a document or anything of any kind of proof? No. But, hey, you could take my word for it. There were some things. There thing are demons. Oh. Oh, there shit. are demons? Yeah. Oh dear God. Oh dear God, this device said there's demons in here. Uh oh, oh, uh -uh. I'm so scared. Okay. Um, to... Footsteps. Yep. Footsteps, huh? Wow, you guys ain't been there two minutes and already stuff is popping off. But I listened, it didn't, it didn't sound like footsteps to me. Now, what I will point out through this entire video, because I, obviously I've already watched, Every time the main paranormal happens, one person is always not around. They're missing in action. Angelo, for that matter. Okay. Um, to... Footsteps. Yeah. Who's up there? Boogity, boogity. I can't do this. Well, to kind of get into the story of basically everything that's happened here. There's a shake shifter. Oh, dear God. Oh, wow. Okay, well, now we got to worry about that. We got to worry. There are demons. <laughs> there's a shape shifter. Oh, shucks. The app said there's demons and shape shifters. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> uh oh, guys. Hit that like button. So, at one point, this land was a place of worship. Like I said, I mean, that obviously explains a church out back, but there is a church on this land that people use to pray to and worship. And uh, long story short, Carl. K-A-R-L. Carl. Carl. Okay. A demon or a shapeshifter and his name's Carl. Guys, oh, we're, we're, we're getting down to the bottom of this now, man. I'm really getting excited for this video. When the homeowner purchased it, it was basically just run down basically abandoned no one really lived here but he fixed it up and it looks beautiful right like he does spend some time here this is like his little vacation spot you know beautiful beautiful area and he still experiences paranormal activity within the home so. can you prove it though you're going to show any documents an interview or anything to back up what you're saying because as a legit paranormal investigator which you certainly claim to be you should document this stuff but you never provide a shred of anything. Occasionally, you'll provide B-roll that has nothing to do with the location that you're at, but it looks creepy. And they hear a noise, and they bravely go to investigate said noise because they're about that life. Okay, I'll, I'll go first. I'll go first. Um, what the f that was back here, right? Oh, wow, Jasko. You're so brave and stuff. What? There's oh, a door open. Fuck. What is that even to? Hello? Do you think that's the sound we heard, like the door opening? Um, uh, it sounded like a thud almost. Maybe, All right. Maybe it hit the wall? Else there that could oh, oh, shit! That came from... Can we watch that again, please? Else there that could oh, shit! Easy debunk coming inward, folks. First off, 
the knock was directly behind you, Jazz, as you were pointing the camera toward the basement door. You could have easily, like that, or uh, your buddy, uh, Curly, could have done it. But both of you are in the proximity of that very door. Agnes, was that you? Oh shoot, look at that. Come here, Angel. Look at that stained glass right there. Oh. Yeah, this is evil fog out here. <coughs> oh yeah, fog. Well, it was either Agnes the shapeshifter or Carl the demon. Flip a coin. What the hell? There's light, it's the basement, first and foremost. And two- What's up with the door? Yeah, come take a look at this. What is it? Oh. Shaped like Minecraft Steve. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I volunteer, I'll do it. I'll go down here, guys. You two stay up here, okay? I'll go down there. You stay up here. Are you sure you don't want me to come down there with your brother? I'm okay. Bro. All right. Is there anybody down here? Guys, if the spear box says anything, can you just let me know? Yeah. Make sure you show us standing at the top of the stairs, but don't show the light switch. Make sure you turn that camera back toward us, that way they know that we're up here, up here, and that you're down there. Okay. Um, yeah, this is how I have to, like, get around down here. Actually, there's this little skateboard. That's not a skateboard. Modern problems, modern solutions. Is there anybody down here with me right now? Oh no, the light cut out. Uh-oh, that's a spirit. It couldn't have been one of his buddies. There's no way. Yet, I want you to watch closely when he, Jasco, turns his camera toward the stairs that go up. Guys? Guys, that's not funny. Pay attention to the light on the wall as the door opens. See, throughout this whole video, all the way up to this point, and matter of fact, throughout the whole video anyway, they're careful not to show you where the uh, the light switch is. And believe it or not, I had a problem finding it myself because they were careful with their angles. Like it was right off camera. The reason I mentioned that, because, well, it'll make sense. As we can clearly see before they open the door, it's cracked already. And then it widens. Take a look one more time. There's the crack you can fit an arm through and then they open the door fully. Now, the light, that little gap shows the door, was about this much opened. Now, the reason I make such a big deal out of it, well, for one, the proximity of the light switch. I know it had to be at the top of the stairs somewhere because you don't want to walk down those stairs in the dark, right? But if a door's cracked that much when it should be closed, then it makes no sense if you're investigating, right? And, well, take a look, because near the end of the video, they show exactly where the switch is. Now, let's put two and two together. As you open the door this way, I wonder where the light switch is. Because, if it's on the left-hand side of the wall, that's a problem. And looky there, there it is. Now, obviously this door was cracked, so here's what happened. They put their arm through and clicked it. That's not funny, bro. Ah! What is that? Where? Ah! Hold on, I'm trying to find the light, bro. What? What the f Yo, whoa, 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 stop, 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 stop. And something through a domino. Now keep in mind, we don't get to see the camera angle at least not on Jasco's channel, of the domino being thrown. And I would about bet that it can be debunked. But I, I just find it funny. And I also noticed they're very careful not to show clocks, the time, throughout the videos. Anybody that fakes will not show the, the, a clock of any kind. But I noticed throughout his video, he slipped a couple times throughout this one, and there was a few times I saw the clock, and it was like, that don't make sense, the time. I'll show that later. 
And as he comes up the stairs, these two uh, tryhards are like, oh, well, well, we we seen a domino get thrown. We had nothing to do with that light switch, I promise. Uh, But they never showed their camera angle. Obviously, Angelo is holding a camera, right? We're seeing it right now. Why'd you turn off the light? That's fucked up. You screamed out when the lights yeah. were off. Oh, it wasn't you that uh, turned the light off. Well, even though that switch was right there where you guys were both standing. Now, I'm sure, being as it wasn't you, you're going to show your camera angle when Jasko was down there screaming, right? You're going to show your angle of it to show that it wasn't you that hit the light and to show that it wasn't you that threw the domino. No, ladies and gentlemen, they, they don't show anything to validate anything because their content is crap. Go ahead, get in the comments, you uh, jazz hoe lovers, and you know, start crying and whining. Okay, um. So what are some of the things that we've gotten so far? We got some names. We got, there are demons. They've upset me. We got, they, they've upset me. I guess we'll have to find you out. decide. Subscribe to The Shape. Yuck, 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 yuck. Oh, I have decided. You guys are fake as press on nails. I decided that a long time ago. Smash that like button, guys. I can tell you right now, it's going to be a very, yeah. a very long night. That's called foreshadowing, folks. I quit. I can't do it. I just can't. Ah, quitting on Halloween. Let's go. These light up. Oh, wow. Yep. Yeah. These glow in the dark. Ooh, His glow, glow in the, in the dark. dark. We do not care. You know, we do bring a lot of families together. So we ah! do some stuff like this for kids, right? Family friendly, Jasco. You like the hoodie? Huh? Yeah. Uh. Hey, shout out Potter. This thing's awesome. I had nothing to add here, but I wanted to show the drip, people. Can we just take time to appreciate the drip? You see my jack jack o' lantern? Oh, got a cool mask. Uh. Shout out to you, Stormy. I appreciate you. As you can see, the paranormal activities already started on a very high note. All this right, is bro. pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. Cut, cut, cut. Angelo, you messed up. I'm hearing all types of sounds around us right now. Yeah, it sounds like someone's like moaning or something. And make sure you get me standing beside this wind chime. That sounds like it's coming person. from inside. It Definitely coming from inside, but question is, which room? And the other question would be, hey, where's Angelo at? Oh, he's up at the house. I'm pretty sure of it. Things are moving back there. You heard that. Okay, so Angelo's all the way back at the house, like up the hill up there. Oh, Angelo's up there. Funny, I don't see him up there. Can you guys see Angelo up there? I sure as hell don't. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Although this could be a trap. Here. This could be. I'm going to place my camera down. They're a tricker. Okay. I'm going to put my camera right here. Right in this exact spot. Huh. I'm just scanning through this quick. There are demons. In a church? <laughs> what the fuck, bro? That was against the, the wall. Yes, there was a bump on that wall. There's a room right over there, a separate room. Why don't you run and check it out instead of standing there? Like I said, we can't see Angelo anywhere. So, hmm, where could he be? Oh, in a church. You say uh, churches have demons. First off, if nobody goes to that church anymore, it's no longer a church. A church is the people. The building is just a building. Four walls. In that page, it said something about it's a man with horns. Hold on. It seems like it could have been like something on the other side. You know, as a carpenter for over 20 years, I can tell you that you can't hit a stud wall until there's another room on the other side. This is this the Holy Bible? Okay, that is the. Who cares? What does that have to do with anything? the Holy Bible. 
there are demons. That's the second time we've got that tonight. Well, it's a good thing you had a camera out there, right? No, I'm just kidding. You never show that either, do you? Now, after babbling about an hour, they finally go to see what the, the source of the knocking is. Obviously, there's an addition that's right next to the room that they were on. You know, the one Jasko knocked on, like, oh, there's something on the other side of this wall. See, he could tell that by simply knocking on it. But they see this gate, and they go check it out. Like vandalized. He said on the floor there was like pentagrams or the. Oh, maybe this is where they tried to like erase it or, you know, like they tried to get rid you, of you it. Could, you could tell that it was you painted see. over. Yeah, it was painted over. Yeah. Oh, man. That's a ben, shame. Ben, ben, ben. That's the wind chimes. And you have a camera right out there, right where the wind chimes are, but you never show the footage. Plus, the wind chimes are ringing. You, everybody can hear it. How long does it take you to get out there and see what rung them? Hold on, hold on. Yeah, great camera work. Point it toward the ground. Make no attempt to get out there in a timely manner to see what hit the wind chime. Unless okay. you want to just try to go around and let's go check that out quick and then let's get out of here. All right, let me shut the door because I don't want anything getting in here, bro. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll be back. You guys remember the camera, huh? See that camera right there? Yeah, you never see any of that footage. Oh my gosh. Jazz, are you hearing this? I'm okay. hearing everything, bro. Let's just go. Oh my god, can I see the camera for a second? Yeah. Should be in there? It to should help. be in there? Out of to help. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if this is a like fuck. fuck. You know it's amazing what you can see when you actually look. It's kinda like being a detective. You if you see, you know, let's say the weeds are knocked down before you get in there, that means somebody was there before you were. You know, there's quite a few weeds there that are freshly pressed. Pressed down with somebody's foot. And I do mean before Jasko steps on them. As if somebody had been there right before Jasko got there. There's a door. We might have to go in there with all the sounds we're hearing. Be very careful here. Oh God. 100% the weeds are pressed down right where they need to go. And then finally, you know, when they get to the room where the knocking come from, they don't even go in and investigate. They just stand out there and like, oh, this is where the knocking come from, but this is as far as we're going to go, people. So you heard a knocking sound in that room, and you're not going to go in there to investigate at all. Before we continue, I want to hear what you think is going on inside of this chapel. What you're faking the paranormal. That's what's happening inside of these buildings. You're welcome. I answered your question directly and truthfully. Um, I wouldn't say good. What didn't happen? Um, damn wind chimes are moving. There's no wind out here. Got a riddle for you folks. How many fakers can you get in a video? Three that we know of. There's not much up here, that's what it'd we know. It'd be this room over here. What's up? I said if it was up here, it'd be this room. You heard it from here? Maybe. It's hard to tell. Are you running the app? Behind you, yeah. Why'd it go quiet? Spirit's out here. That was a domino. You heard the domino. So, go. Go now and see what made it fall. Let's see how long it takes them. Yeah. Who's down there? What's down there? Obviously, they heard a big noise down there, but let's see how long it takes them to get down there to investigate the noise. Hey, check out all the time that's passing that nobody's making any attempt to get down the steps. Why? Because we lie about everything we do on here. It took both of them that long to get down the steps to see what knocked the dominoes over. 
That person had time to pack a lunch. <clears throat> Angelo. Angelo? Bro, I see a light down by the hill. He's down by the chapel still. Well, gotta, gotta take Jasko's word for it. He said that, uh, Angelo's down by the chapel filming. But don't put the camera out the door to show that. Uh-uh, he just closed the door. Uh, I said he was down there. That's all you need to know. Man, I tell you, I, I can't stand people that tell a lot of lies. And if you're going to fake your paranormal, that means you lie in every video that you make multiple times. That's what that is. If you don't say, hey, this is staged, and you keep it to yourself, you are essentially lying. Because you're not not saying it. If that makes any sense. It's really difficult to watch back this footage and see myself decline throughout the night. So we're off to bed. Um, Ben's going to take this room up here. Angel's going to take the room across the hall. And I'm going to sleep on the couch. <laughs> Guys, uh, good night, you know. Hey, good night, brother. Good We're night. pushing really late hours right now, but we, we should get some sleep. Just how late is it? We don't know. I know that what I think paranormal investigators, they mostly film at night. So I'm assuming most that I've heard, professional type ghost hunters, the one, when I've spoken to them, spoke to them, they film like start at 8 p.m. and they'll film till 5 and 6 the very next morning. Not Jasko, he goes to bed at 12 o'clock at night. I ain't kidding you. Yeah, I'll prove that later. All right, boys. Um, good night. Good night, brother. Uh, see you guys later. Later. Good night. Good night. Okay. Um, first and foremost, I'm trying to see where the hell I'm going. I kind of didn't want to tell the guys, but when I was doing some alone stuff, I definitely felt like I was in severe danger. Uh, oh, I showed you the jack-o'-lantern, didn't I? That's cool, isn't it? Oh, man. All right, class. As he lays there asleep, that door opens that goes to the basement. Where's the blind spot? Because the chair will move, too. Someone can hide behind the couch. And same applies here. Where's the blind spot? The other side of that bed. You can't see there. See that thing getting pulled off the bed? Something gets thrown on that side too, and it all comes from that one exact blind spot. I can't believe people can't catch on to how blind spots work. You know, as long as you got something between you and the camera's vision, you can hide there all night and move objects and throw them. But we caught them this time. Subscribe and do all that stuff, peeps. And hit that like button. <laughs> and another thing I can't stand about poor content, and yes, this is poor content. Make no mistake about it, they put no effort into the paranormal. Oh, there's a big couch. We'll angle the camera to where we can hide behind the couch and we'll open the basement door and then we'll push the chair because we can, you know, we can do that from behind the couch. I'll be upstairs laying in bed on the bed so we'll put the camera on one side of the bed away from the other side of the bed why because somebody can duck under and beside the bed and move stuff around did you catch it because you guys really messed up in that clip you can see either Angelo or Jasko's reflection. All you gotta do is brighten the image, tweak the contrast, and right before the object gets thrown, look right here. You see that? You can literally see the person beside the bed moving. Ha <laughs> ha, man. You can literally see the reflection of the person moving. You can't see it good. You gotta tweak the brightness and contrast a bit, but you can see it. It's not him. He's laying still on the bed, as you saw in the very first clip. So it's not him moving. And plus, it's too close to the foot of the bed, right where this paranormal is happening. I love it when people make visual mistakes. Hey, let's take a look at the, you know, the other side of that bed real quick, though. Why? 
I don't know, just so you can see how good of a spot it would be. And the reflection lines up perfectly with the person that would have been right there. Tell me I'm wrong. And Jasko is fixing to disappear. You know, he's going to be possessed and he's going to walk out of the house. The TV turns on, which can be done with the remote, but nobody's going to mention that. So, Jasko disappears, and Curly and Angelo go looking for him. You just saw the clip of last time you see Jasko. The TV turns on by itself as if it can't be done with the remote. That's neither here nor there, though, right? Okay. No, I definitely hear Jazz snoring right now. I want to place a trigger warning right here. What you are about to watch is me in a very uncomfortable state. You are going to watch me in a very vulnerable state, and um, I'm not exactly sure what happened. <laughs> to this day, I still am very cloudy upon what happened, why I was doing what I was doing, but I felt as if someone needed help, and that's what drew me outside. Shut the fuck up, bitch! So, that's all I'm gonna say for now. I'm gonna let the footage speak for itself. As I stated earlier in the video, this amazing thing that he's talking about is literally him standing down in that other building with a candle. That's this amazing thing that Jasko here is talking about, like it's something incredible, like something possessed him and made him go down there. As if he didn't do it on his, you know, in it, him himself. It's like he was asleep and he woke up down there holding a candle. The problem is, like all of his stuff and everything he says, you can't, validate it you can't you can't prove it everybody has to take your word for it that's it now they find jasko's camera sideways as you can see right here but they don't show how it got turned sideways hmm i bet it was right after jasko got up i mean it's not like it's the biggest you don't think he'd be in the basement right is that like no, why would he be in there i don't know Bro, you down here? No, Curly, he's not downstairs. He's not in the basement. You know exactly where he was. Man, you must have a really gold body. It says he's like close to the front of the driveway, bro. But that doesn't make any sense. Why would he be there? That's a great question. Oh, well, you look at the time, 12.23 a.m., now, when Jasko first opened the door to this place, it, the clock is 8.40 p.m. That's when they first open the door to start their investigation. Now, after Jasko disappears at the end of the video, 12.23, which means three hours and 43 minutes. So, out of all this, not only does Jasko have a GPS on him, it's 12.23. All this paranormal happened. They've been to bed already and everything, and it's just now 12.23. Think about that. Think about that long and hard. Yo, I just saw it again. It's like an orange light. The Ooh. f***, bro? Is he f***ing burning shit? What? Yo, Jazz! What the f*** are you doing? What's he doing in here? What the shit? <laughs> you wanna put the fire down and we can... Are you good? There's something outside. I just love videos like this, man. They're just so interesting. Thought, well, at least when you watch them through my filter, which is this channel. I gotta say, uh, because sometimes it, I've seen your comments, and sometimes it is hard to watch, but you guys do appreciate the fact that I, I research and watch all this stuff, so you don't have to. You get all the good parts, and all the good catches. And you deserve that. But I want to seriously thank you guys for all the support. Uh, if you've been here a long time, thank you for the years of support. We're going on five years in December of doing debunks. And all, all you new guys, I welcome. Uh, I, and of course, you know, I, everybody, just you have a happy, safe Halloween. Uh, have fun with family. Unplug. I'm going to upload this before Halloween. 
that way on Halloween you can unplug, have fun with family, and I think that's what it's all about. Social media is good sometimes, but I think we all spend a little bit too much time on it. Uh, the secret word is jack-o'-lantern, by the way. Now, you probably noticed that my last couple of videos, my energy hasn't been like insane, you know, like real excited and stuff like that. But the reason is, I, I don't know how you guys feel about animals, but I love my, my cats. They're like family members, and both of them disappeared. One of them come back, but had some internal injuries, but is healing now. But my other, my other cat, still gone. Don't know what happened. And it's like family member, and it brings you down. It's hard to, it's hard to act like you're, you know, all excited and having fun and all that when you're depressed and you feel bad because like I said, they're like family members. But I just want to tell you guys that is why I haven't been like over energetic. And I want you guys to have a ha happy, safe Halloween. And look how awesome I carved this. Me and my little buddy carved this actually. Look at it. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Y'all come back now, you hear? Peace.